ho, ho, ho. What's up? Welcome back to the vlog. It's Vlogmas Day 4. Um, I literally just got home not too long ago. I'm getting ready to cook dinner. I kind of already got some stuff going on. I got my rice and I'm about to steam some broccoli in my always pan. If you've never heard of the always pan, it's the bomb. I actually did like a mini review in my November vlog. So if you want to learn about it, click up there somewhere. I'll put the card. But anyway, tonight I was really craving like some Asian food. I wanted some Chinese food the other day, but because we live in a different area, I don't even know what's good out here. So I just was just like, I don't know. Well, I had to suffer. But um, I want to make some rice with peppers. And I know people who know me really well are probably going to be like, girl, what? But yeah, I'm going to add some green onions in here. I'm not an onion person, but I just feel like it gives it some good Asian flavor. I have my sesame seeds. I have my stir fry oil. And the funniest thing of all, I ended up buying some spicy orange sauce, but <laughs> I was over here so upset last night because I thought the lady left my sauce in the store. No, I left the sauce in the store. I realized when I was getting a pepper, I put the sauce down so I can get the bag and all. I had so much stuff in my hand. I didn't get a cart because obviously I didn't think I was gonna get that much stuff and I left it there. So I ended up getting something else. But I got my chicken here. I got my broccoli and my eggs. So I'm about to start cooking and get ready because we have Bible study on Zoom on Wednesday nights. So it starts at 7.30 and it's literally what, I think it's like, it's 7.07. .07, so I need to hurry up so I can get everything together in time for Bible study. All right, here is the finished product. It smells delicious, so I'm about to eat my at-home Chinese. Woohoo! <laughs> you want some? I'll take a little bit. All right. What's up, everybody? It is Vlogmas Day Five, I believe. So it's Thursday. I feel like my watch is going off. Okay, so it's Thursday, and Wednesdays and Thursdays are committed to church. Um, we do Bible study and things like that. So yesterday was Bible study, and then um, I had to go to my church, so there wasn't much going on yesterday. Y'all just watched me cook dinner, and we do Bible study on Zoom, so that's always convenient because you can kind of cook and listen or do laundry and listen, so it was so convenient. So those are a few good things about the pandemic. But today, not much going on. I did want to come on here and show y'all what I got from the candle sale. Um, actually, to be quite honest with y'all, I didn't even buy any for myself. I bought them as gifts. However, they messed up my order because Candle day online was chaotic, completely chaotic. So what happened was, what happened was, so with candle day online, they literally put you in a queue. So the night before they did like a members only type of 
sale or like access like they get first dibs and everybody isn't a member like they have like this club or something like that and you have to be in a certain area and i live on the east coast and i don't even think the east coast is a part of bath and body works little membership so i think that is so rude y'all need to get it together anyway um the night before it was like a members only early access and then the next day friday they had candle day and it was also saturday you can do it online or in the store anyway to make a long story short they had a queue so you sit in the queue i did it like 7 30 in the morning because i get up around that time so it was like 7 30 in the morning and i got in a queue my queue says six minutes the night before me and my girls we were trying to look and um it was saying it was saying like an hour and 40 minutes something crazy but anyway when i got on the website it was 7 30 and my queue wait time was six minutes so it went really fast it jumped from like six minutes to four minutes and then i was in the website or whatever so i started picking all the candles i want i check out it keeps saying oh this isn't available this is sold out i'm like bruh like how are y'all displaying these candles and then when you try to check out it says it's sold out so anyway i tried to like repick all my candles because it disappeared in my cart and then i ended up doing like two orders so i have an order here and then i have another order on the way so i picked out candles then i picked up back backup candles for the people that i was buying for so now i have options but candles are like the perfect gift for anybody first of all the candle day was ten dollars and some change so that's really not bad for bath and body works candles so they sent me my three then i have three more coming so i have six all together i really don't think i'm going to be keeping any if i can give them out as gifts i'm doing it so if you're watching this and you get a candle merry christmas but anyway i ended up picking up winter candy apple and i love winter candy apple i think it smells so so good um the notes are candied apples crisp can't talk the notes are candied apples crisp pears oranges with natural essential oils and then sweater weather is always a staple like you cannot go wrong with sweater weather because it's good for fall and it's good for the winter time so it is fresh sage jupiter berry aromic a eucalyptus fresh woods and then of course the natural oils and then this one is black tie this one is like a i would say it's like a men's cologne it sounds it smells like a man so this one has like a really distinctive smell if you like musky smells this is for you or as they like to say on the internet like it smells like a single man and single ladies like to get candles like this i wouldn't know but i wouldn't mind um putting it in our room or something like that so it's not as feminine for my husband so those are the three that i have i kind of already know who i would get these for but i have to wait and see what the other ones are and then i can kind of make a decision so again candles are the perfect gift for christmas because it lasts all year long and so before i end the vlog i really wanted to talk about something that was like near and dear to my heart and hoping that it reaches someone who needs to hear it so i know for me dealing with infertility is not easy and in general around the holidays things are hard for people um depression anxiety um money issues i mean a lot of different things so infertility is also in the ranking of that and a lot of people don't realize that so i want to say even for myself it can get very challenging um around the holidays when you are dealing with infertility and dealing with um fertility treatments i'm trying not to say um so many times um so bear with me and trying to get pregnant and then you see different people that you know people that you don't know shopping for their kids getting their kids ready 
for holiday pictures, doing different activities, different all type of fun things and you're just like oh my gosh I cannot wait for this even going to the mall or going to the store and seeing the cutest Christmas outfits and you're like oh my gosh if I had a baby right now I would buy this 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 and that and you're even tempted to buy it and be like look if I get it now I can just put it on my baby when it's my turn and you know they're not gonna have it then so let me just grab it now and I can just keep it in my stash and I've done things like that too so many different times to the point that there are things that I have bought for my turn and I've given them to other people you know because sometimes you do get discouraged or you're just like you know it's just better off for this person and that's okay and I think I've had this on my mind because one of my clients who I do a facial for she gave me this book called the trying game and it's getting through fertility treatments and get pregnant without losing your mind and you literally lose your mind you're emotional you're hormonal all type of things you get anxiety and you get depression when it comes to getting pregnant and having to invest in so many different things just to have a baby so I'm here to tell you it's not easy I deal with it myself but for me Christmas is my favorite favorite holiday so all of that kind of goes in the back of my mind and I'm just like so invested in Christmas but for people who are dealing with it consistently and can't have an outlet and it's always on their mind I'm here to tell you breathe relax do things that bring you joy putting up the Christmas tree seeing the lights listening to Christmas music watching Christmas movies Christmas stories things like that bring happiness and that's what they're there for even funny movies that are like Christmas themed like take the time to do things like that to get your mind off of the serious things and the things that really get you worked up and make you anxious and make you feel you know less than or whatever you want to call it. I'm here to say that you have to speak it into existence. You can't say what if in the back of your mind you're like okay this hasn't happened for us but in as you're talking to people you're like oh yeah 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 it's good no you have to 100 percent think in your mind feeling in your heart feeling in your soul that it's going to happen and manifest these things if you are a christian or you know believe in god pray on things like that ask god to help you in that area um if you deal with the universe and things like that maybe ask the universe to give you a sign or Ask the universe to, you know, calm your spirit and allow this to be a time that you just really relax and just be in the moment. So I'm telling you, if you're in the store and you see something you think is cute for your baby when it's your time, get it. If it's a toy, an outfit, don't let people discourage you. Don't let people say that, oh, it's a waste of money or it's a waste of time. Why don't you wait? No, this is your journey. And if that's, what some, if that's something that makes you happy or brings joy to you, then do it. Absolutely. You can also look into like different Facebook groups. Um, I've been in a few and sometimes that does help when you're surrounded by different people who are dealing with the same thing that you are and you can connect with them that's also a really good idea make sure you have supportive people in your life supportive people in your family i know that's hard some people like to say that um their family doesn't support their decisions or understand what's going on but find at least one person that you can kind of link with and really have them in your corner for times such as this when you're not feeling good and even if you have a spouse or um someone that you're with dealing with these fertility treatments maybe go on a vacation go on a staycation or just take a day to yourself to just really relax but the holidays should be an exciting time so if you're feeling down hopefully this helps and people are always messaging me asking me about things for infertility so I'm always here to talk because I know how it feels and books books are amazing especially books like these this one is very lighthearted, funny and then also knowledgeable so things like that are really nice too 
So I'm hoping you can enjoy this holiday season and keep it in mind that you will have your baby, your time will come, but trust in the process, trust in the timing. So that's what I want to leave you with if you are dealing with that. But if you're at the end of this vlog and you watched it all the way through, thank you. I appreciate you. And I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.